The state of Wisconsin is looking at changing the age when teenagers are automatically treated like an adult when charged with a crime. A bipartisan bill would allow some 17-year-olds who are first-time offenders to be tried in juvenile court. Fox 11's Laura Smith has our balanced coverage. Backers of a new bill aimed at returning 17-year-old offenders to the juvenile court system say it would give those teens a second chance. We just believe this is an opportunity to give them a second chance to straighten out their life, to learn from their uh, mistake and hopefully become uh, good citizens of the state. The proposal would change a 1996 law that requires all 17-year-olds, no matter what their crime, to be tried as adults. One of the reasons why we believe the juvenile system is more appropriate for these young offenders is that they do provide more intensive services, more age-appropriate services. One concern that's been expressed about this bill is what it will cost local counties. In order to provide those services, the funding needs to be there to allow the counties to support the juveniles that are in their system. Buy's office says if the bill passes, about 2,017 year old offenders would be returned to the juvenile justice system. The lawmaker estimates that would cost the state about $5 million a year. But the Wisconsin Counties Association says it will likely cost more. Unfortunately, this bill does not provide any resources to the counties to pay for the treatment and services. I believe I'd be able to solve that, uh, that cost issue working with joint finance. Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen does not support the legislation. A statement from his office says there is no need to change current laws and suggested changes to provide second chances may diminish effective efforts to provide public safety, hold offenders accountable, and lessen victimization. I think the victims don't want these kids to continue committing crimes. Attorney Deborah Mankowski says the proposed change is long overdue. Just putting them in jail without getting them services is not going to ensure that they're not going to get out and continue committing crimes. The bill remains at the committee level. It needs to pass both houses of the legislature and receive Governor Walker's approval before it becomes law. Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. Now, Bice is hopeful that this bill will be taken up in January. He would like it to become law by 2015.